Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is the Witchy Cabinet Tour. I hope you like it. Okay, so first on this top shelf we have this cute little copper pot warmer that I got at a Goodwill store. It doesn't have a handle and I've never gotten around to replacing it. Um, you put a tea light underneath and then you can put your liquid in the top and warm it that way. Um, I used to use it for potpourri. Um, I have a small ceramic mortar and pestle. This cute little silver plated uh, sugar and creamer set. Never use them for anything, but they're pretty, so that's why they're there. Um, this really cute, it's a cricket cage so that you can keep crickets in your house for good luck. My mother got it for me, oh gosh, a million years ago. These are empty mesh ornaments. They open up and you can put stuff in them. I have a couple hanging up in the witchy room with um, crystals in them. My very first cauldron, it's, it was a white ceramic and I spray painted it black. Egyptian perfume bottles. A little box with push pins and stick pins in it. And then on this top shelf over here, I have all the way in the back there, that is my black scrying mirror that I made and I have never used. Um, the red and blue ones are empty bottles that don't have corks. This is a candle holder, um, little glass box with literally just a rock. A uh, glass box with my collection of mini crystal balls that I got from Wish. This really cool halite crystal that my sister got for me at a rock and mineral show. A crystal ball holder. Railroad spike. Empty metal bowl with a lid. Another rock. Black crystal ball on a Halloween skull hand clear crystal ball and then I think this might actually yeah I don't even think that's that's not even glass I think that's acrylic um and then this really cool star shaped light catcher but it's missing a piece so now it just sits in the cabinet and then next shelf down this is where it gets good so Gemini incense, um, passion flower incense sticks, some frequency clarity spray that I got in a box of shadows a million years ago, some Palo Santo, my favorite powdered incense, the dragon's blood, some money drawing incense, attraction incense. I think these are, nope, oh, those are dried rose petals, some rose peppermint incense, some white rose incense, some all-purpose incense, um, purple lilac incense, some Palo Santo chips. Um, these are bundles that came in, I believe I got these in two separate Box of Shadows boxes. I don't get the Box of Shadows anymore. I wasn't really thrilled with those. Um, and here there is a rosemary bundle and a lavender bundle that I made with rosemary and lavender from my own garden. Um, this little bundle is the first one I ever got. I don't think I'll ever use it. It's a million years old, and now it's just there for sentimental reasons. Um, this is the Peruvian Blue Opal from the Witch's Bounty Box a couple months ago. This has giant pumpkin seeds in it. Um, on this side, oh, we have a candle holder that I use when I, when I decorate for Yule. A rack with all of my essential oils. I won't go through them all now because that would take forever. Um, the top row is the blends that you get from Amazon, you know, for headache or muscle aches. And then the, the next rows are essential oils. This bottom row is blended oils that I've gotten at witchy shops. 
um, giant bottle of lavender oil, small bottle of lavender oil, a bowl full of corks, oh, purple floating flower candle, that's unexpected, um, dove's blood ink, dragon's blood ink, all of the oils that I've gotten from the which is Bounty and Sacred Space Crates. Um, little bottles of gemstone chips. This is New Might, I think it's called. It's also called the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, Rose Thorns. And down here we have eggshells, seashells, um, ashes. Um, mirror pieces, um, more corks, some rocks, saltpeter, this is sulfur, I have to label this, I just got this, um, and this bottle has graveyard dirt from Old Burying Point in Salem. Um, some black salt that I made. This is Hawaiian black salt. Jar of pennies. Jar of rusty nails. Jar of old keys. Because I was told you're never supposed to get rid of old keys, so I have a jar full of them. Um, red brick dust. Some little muslin bags. This is a cute jar I got at Michael's a couple years ago. And in there I have... Dried habanero peppers, I believe. No, I think they're dried ghost peppers. Dried ghost peppers. Vesta powder. Um, coffin nails. Himalayan pink salt. And a bat's head root. And then on this side, we have more seashells. Sea salt. Some Dried multicolored flowers, some dried orchids, um, some really old wormwood, some cinnamon sticks, um, tiny bits of black tourmaline. This has dragon's blood resin, a really old jar of witch grass, more orchids, some really old rose hips. A uh, mustard seed, a nutmeg, I think there's just one in there, nope, there's three, three nutmegs. Um, this is Belladonna, I got that from Etsy, um, star anise, some cayenne, these super cute little jars from the Sacred Space Crate of Meadowsweet, Vervain, um, this is protection casting salt and arnica flowers. This is asafoetida. Down here, multicolored jar candles. My bottle of moon water. Black tourmaline. Two jars of clear quartz. Um, amethyst chunks. And then on this shelf down here, we have all of my Harry Potter books and any books that go along with Harry Potter. Um, my plaques from the Sacred Space Crates for Letha and Lamas. In this wooden box, there's just a test tube of whiskers and a small vial of claws from my old cat Toes who passed away a few years ago. And then on top is my organized crystals, all labeled in little compartments because I don't know what they are unless they're labeled. And then in here, jars. And in here, where it's very dark, we have what I was using as a moon water bottle, a 
blue version. A Celtic Cross candle holder that my stepdaughter got for me for Christmas a few years ago. Some candle holders. Spanish moss. And fabric for altar cloths. Oh, and in this little bag there is polished clear quartz. And that is everything inside my witchy cabinet. There used to be quite a bit more, but I did recently declutter a lot of stuff. I had some herbs in there that were 10 plus years old, so I put them all in a, in a uh, paper bag, and my husband and I burned them in the fire. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and the next video will be the giveaway announcement. Um, I'm still working out what the giveaway is actually going to be. I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you join me. See you in the next one. Bye.